Hello, today our tutorial is going to concern itself with arranging our clips and a basic overview of transitions, how to transition from one video clip to another. We're going to be utilizing just one track right now and you notice when I butt these up together that we have this nice blue line that develops in between showing us that we're lined right up and everything is uh, lined up without any gaps in between. When we do it that way, what is the transition? What does it look like? Well, let's watch it and see exactly how. Watch how it changes from one to the other. Nothing dramatic. It's just simply, boom, it's there. And there's nothing wrong with that type of transition. It's probably the most common transition around. But if we want to do it a little fancier, if we want it to dissolve into one clip into another, we can simply left click and drag that into the other clip. And you notice what happens. We have some nice curves here that develop and one clip fades out and the other clip fades in. Let's watch that particular one. Press play here. And you see there's a nice gradual transition between the two, nice and smooth. So that's one way that we can transition. Now as far as rearranging them, we can rearrange our clips any way we want. We can change the order of them. This is the beauty of non-linear editing, which means that you can edit in any order you don't have to go from uh, the beginning to the end. It used to be with tape, uh, a linear type process, it was much harder to be able to edit these things. But now with the wonders of computers, we can take snippets and, and manipulate them in ways you could never do before. When we're talking about transitions, most of the time we're going to go up to our transitions up here and choose from a set of pre-made transitions that Sony Vegas gives you. You can also buy transitions from other third-party developers. But we'll go up here and we'll try one of the flash ones, for instance, and we're going to left-click and drag that right down in between the two at the bottom until we see that little plus sign there. And then we're going to, we can adjust these elements if we want to, but we don't need to in this case. But let's see what this clip looks like. Watch up here in the preview window. And there's kind of a flash in between two of them. That's just one of the many types of transitions that we use. If we don't like that, we can go up and find another one and simply drag that down in between until you see the box there. And now let's look at that particular clip and see what that looks like. And there's kind of a pixelating effect in between. Now most of the time I would not use special transitions for every scene. That would get very tedious and tiresome for the viewer. Uh, uh, video effects are kind of like spices. If you use too many of them, they, they lose their appeal after a while. But uh, once in a while it's kind of neat to do a specialized transition uh, type as this. But most of the time I would say you're just going to want to go from one scene to another. In the next tutorial, we'll be talking about how we do uh, several multi-track scenes, how we choose which one is going to be visible at any one time using uh, video envelopes, which is going to be very exciting. So well, we'll be back with the other tutorial, and you can learn all about that.